They come as a surprise that the laptop's volume sales uh, actually grew overall in Southern Europe, but this includes markets such as Italy and Greece, where volumes had declined very sharply in the last five years during the worst years of the recession. Another important trend is the continued growth uh, in smartphones. Uh, this is common to all Southern European countries, including Turkey, but the growth is not as fast as it used to be in the previous five years. Action camps is the main trend in imaging devices, and it's the only area in that, in that category uh, where there's growth. Um, in Germany, while classic digital camcorders uh, witnessed further decline in volume sales in 2015, there is a growing trend uh, towards action cams. Action cams have the great advantage of being small in size and uh, less prone to malfunctions when being used under extreme conditions. This makes action cams a desirable device for sports enthusiasts in Germany. In the UK, with the saturation of smartphones and the contraction in traditional wired home audio dragging down values, 4K or Ultra HD television failed to give the boost to sales expected. Meanwhile, laptops continued a small bounce back and wireless home audio products in some new categories showed signs of growth. In Spain, there is a greater presence of local companies such as VQ that managed to create a link with consumers by contributing positively to the economy recovery. These companies face competition in the same way than any other global high-tech company. In contrast, there are new Asiatic companies entering to the market that force traditional companies to be more flexible and agile to answer efficiently to environment changes. Wearables are experiencing strong growth throughout Western Europe. In these markets where consumer electronics is largely saturated, the wearable electronics actually managed to provide an impetus to the market. In the Netherlands, the economy is recovering and consumer expenditure and consumer confidence are up. This, combined with the change in spending habits as a result of the recession, has, lead, has led to mid-range products driving sales. Additionally, however, more affluent consumers are willing to spend more on premium products since their disposable income also increased. In 2015, this growth was to a large part driven by the Apple Watch.